Hello, Warren Bricks here. We have the new Kobe catalog for 2018, and we have some great sets here that I'm gonna show you guys that I'm really excited about it. First of all, yes, Kobe is gonna make some awesome sets for World War One. If you've been waiting for that, that's the year that we're gonna get two tanks and three airplanes. First, we have the British MK1 tank that was the first operational tank in the whole world so we have here a proto uh, 3d model of the the MK1 is really looking nice and on the side here we have the French light tank Renault model 1917 and it's really looking nice too and we also have the little door here on the front that was the where the driver sat and uh, it looks like a printer part it would be nice if it was uh, actually a hatch that you could put a, your minifigure there but it's really looking nice and they use the team tracks the new team tracks that like Kobe used like on the newer sets on the end of the year they start using those like smaller tracks we also have the Red Baron airplane with 220 pieces really looking nice we see a new part here on the front for the where the propeller is attached and also two MG guns really look really looking neat we also have a British airplane I believe the stop with F1 camel with uh, 200 pieces and one minifigure also really looking and we also have the Fokker E5 with 185 pieces this one is the smallest of the sets it kinda says here that's gonna be Polish and uh, German so it might have some uh, different stickers that you can choose between uh, if you want to a uh, decals for a Polish plane or a German plane so we have to wait and see what is actually it's gonna be and for the next ones we have the BF 110 it's finally out uh, last uh, last uh, video that I show you guys it was just a prototype so it's really different the prototype I'm loving the color actually this kind of grayish and blackish uh, camo scheme really looking nice also the detail here on the nose the little bee here really really looking awesome uh, the canopy is the same one that I used for the JU 87 B also the back it looks similar and we have the pilot and the gunner and also we can see here a little string here pretty sure it's not gonna be that was the antenna pretty sure they're not gonna include that on the set you have to use some like a uh, black fishing line or other stuff to have the, the antenna if you would like so also we have the P38 lightning all on in red last time uh, we I checked the the engines was they were different uh, shapes there was like it was more circular so I'm pretty sure it was just like a 3d prototype but this one's the final version we love the color like all gray like the p51 so the it's gonna be the same tone of gray kind of gr uh, metallic gray so really liking that also the with the red details and really looking awesome and we see here the that's the same nose as the BF 110 with the three machine guns on the on the nose and the news don't just stop for there we have the P39 Air Cobra this one here it's kinda 
it's looking nice but it could be better especially because the P39 had a cannon here on the nose and they did, they didn't replicate this on this model here they could have a little have cut a hole here on the spinner and placed one of those maybe one of these or the the little rubber piece that we see on some tanks that simulate the MGs on the on the mallet of some tanks also it's using the same canopy as the P51 and this uh, the P39 actually didn't have a canopy like that it would have a door here so they didn't replicate that too because the P39 had like a little door here and the pilot would would go through the wing and open this door here like uh, some airplanes there are today some like civilian airplanes it didn't have the canopy that will go out like the P-51 and we have the Mosquito really looking nice a different model of the nose here and we have four MG guns really looking nice not really a big fan of the color scheme they use for that it looks it looks too simplistic they should have chose a better color but it's still looking pretty good and here is a kind of reflection but it only comes with the one minifigure here it looks like there's two guys here but I guess this was a uh, more like a reflection when they took the picture which is kinda funny here that we see double here but it's only one minifigure and yes, we're gonna have the ME 262A. Really looking nice. I love the color scheme. But one thing that I don't know what they did here is this engine uh, intake here. It really looks strange. <laughs> really looks really strange. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna be attached here. But maybe if when I get it. Uh, to give a more realistic look, maybe leave this piece out, the engine will look a lot better. Hopefully there's nothing sticking out, just like a little, but this should have been a, just a, like a little blade piece that would attach right on the corner here and will look just perfect. But it still looks pretty good the way it is right now. We might see some change, but I believe that's the final, uh, the final version of the ME 262A. And on the next page here, on the bottom, we also have another P39, similar to the to the American one, but this one is a Russian one, just a different color scheme and a nose, and as a white tail 10. It's a 3D model, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be look exactly the same. Just a little bit more details on this one, but the build looks really similar to the other one that we saw. Uh, we just saw, and we also have some new tanks: the M3 Lee light tank. That was uh, the first tanks that uh, got in a, uh, on the conflict for the American side, and they they fought on the on the desert on the Africa campaign a lot. It had two main guns, really looking nice. It comes with two minifigures and a pretty simplistic model here. We have a 3D model. We might have some details, but uh, it's really looking pretty neat. And look at that, we have the M7 Priest Howitzer with 500 pieces and two minifigures. Looks like we have like a new design of shells. Maybe it's the similar ones, but it looks different than the, the ones that we have right now. Who comes with a MG on the top. And I'm really, really excited about this one. It actually looks really good. It looks really, really good. And the uh, count of pieces looks decent. 
but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little bit oversized <laughs> with 500 pieces we expect that to be about the same size of the tiger I think we also have the M18 Hellcat with 460 pieces and two minifigures both of the minifigures are figures are similar to the ones that we got on most of the American sets and it's nice that we got a bazooka on this one on the guy here on the right we got a, li a little bazooka and uh, these tanks were open top so here it looks like the little minifigure is standing so it's not really a uh, a deep compartment here so we just like to see the half of the leg so it's going to be really shallow on the turret here and probably you're going to have to sit your minifigure to give them somewhat realistic look but this thing would be a lot bit deeper because <laughs> uh, the guys would be sitting inside so they have some protection even though it was an open top tank and we have the M36 tank destroyer it was really similar to the M18 Hellcat, but this thing was had a bigger caliper to deal with the bigger tanks like Tiger and Panthers later on the war. With 460 pieces and two minifigures, and the 3D model here, it's, it's really looking nice. I'm not sure how deep is gonna be here, other minifigures here, but it should be similar to the to the M18 and they using the similar tracks to the Sherman tank it's like pretty much it looks like the same build uh, on the bottom as the Sherman tank and it's really looking pretty nice and the Panther again last time we checked it was just a 3D model that's the final and definitive version of the Panther 5 Asferhun A. This one it's really looking nice because most of the Panthers so far they haven't been really bad to tell you the truth because the the turret it was small and especially the body was like too square. The Tiger was one of the best ones but that you can actually like they actually made a really good design on the tigers because they were square and the blocks are square but the painter it was more like a a curved design so they get really they get the shape here on the front but on the sides here it still looks not as good uh, as it should be but it looks better than the earlier models that Kobe released earlier not uh, on the the earlier years and this one comes with a winter soldier with a Panzerfaust and again a German with an eye patch I don't know why they love to put eye patches on the on the German commander commanders it kinda looks it kinda takes me a little bit away from the commanders because they don't really put like a like a regular face, I don't know why they love to do that with the German commanders put an eye patch. That's one thing that I don't like about the Kobe sets. And yes, we're gonna have boats and submarines on the this year, the German U boat. And looking really nice on a scale of 1 by 100 we have a little flag here as you can see and they decide not to put anything on the middle of the flag you can possibly you can put a sticker or something or just draw with a marker if you're really good at drawing and you can put whatever symbol you want and really look really amazing uh, and this build here looks like it's built sideways like both sides maybe we have like a on the middle here like a two-sided pieces and then we start building from the middle to the sides looking really nice we also have another submarine here on the different scale here 
uh, this one by 144 with 700 pieces so 100 pieces less than the U-boat and that's the Gato class submarine USS Wahoo SS238 looking really nice too I believe those windows here are stickers and where they put the American flag here really excited about these ones and the submarines also th they come with a stand so you can actually present the put in a shelf or something for or even a desk that will really look nice if you went to uh, submarines nothing different here for the destroyer blitz blitz kawika with 680 pieces like you have uh, some like small boats and uh, guns we're looking at with a different scale too so most of the the submarines and ships they're gonna have different scales I don't know why they decide to do that but it should be nice to have one single scale instead of like have different scales for different uh, uh, ships and we have another one here it's uh, polished submarine we only have a picture nothing like no 3d models so it's gonna be the ORP or Zell I don't know how to say this one it is a L or a T and uh, no information about the number of pieces too so we're gonna have to wait and see how this thing's gonna look like later this year and for the word of tanks collection we have the Churchill with 530 pieces really looking neat most of the word of tanks in my opinion uh, opinion I don't like it because they come with like a bunch of stickers but I saw this one the stickers here are just the steel warrior and this symbol here this part is printed and also this part here is printed so I'm definitely gonna get this Churchill here and uh, we'll review it that soon when I as soon as I get it really looking nice we also have two more sets for the Germans here on the word word of tanks the Mauer Brecher pretty sure it's a prototype tank and the uh, Waffen Traga Asfahun Panzer IV so it's uh, based on the Panzer IV chassis it looks like a artillery artillery piece it looks pretty decent but I'm not really a fan of, of the World of Tanks series as I mentioned before so I'm probably not gonna be getting those two here but definitely the Churchill we also have uh, the World of Warships series that we have the same uh, destroyer that we saw before it looks pretty similar to the to the World War II series uh, besides the little pirate flag here and same brick count 680 so nothing new on this one here and yes we're gonna have a monster here with 1850 pieces the battleship Bismarck we don't have uh, we have no pictures of it we actually uh, on the catalog but we can see the prototype picture here and we since it's a prototype we might see some changes big changes on it but by the prototype it's really looking nice with a scale of 1 by 300 this one if you like uh, the new series of like ships and submarines this one will be one to get and that's wrap wraps up everything that I want to show you guys with the new sets let me know in the comment sections which one you most excited about it uh, of the new sets and which ones that Kobe didn't announce yet that you wanted to be seeing soon and that's it for all guys please make sure to comment and like or dislike my videos and thank you so much for watching and see you next time.